Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you about three practices that will help you to feel better instantly. I find as human beings who are always in the collective soup of emotions, our own and those of other people, and sometimes the going gets tough. And so I figured today I would try to be a part of a solution, <laughs> not the problem. So that's the intention for the video, three energetic practices to make you feel better instantly. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. I post new videos every week and sometimes twice a week and just join the tribe, the more the merrier. Okay, practice number one. I call this practice the drainage which is essentially what it sounds like. When we are in a negative emotional state, what ends up happening energetically is our body is filled with muddy waters or dirty water or what have you, because again, emotion equals water. You know, if we look at the world from the perspective that everything is energy and then energy comes in five different elemental types, um, earth, air, water, uh, fire, and ether, then emotion from this perspective is water. So when you're in a negative emotional state, when you're stewing in your own juices, if I were to look at you and energetically diagnose you, I would see murky waters. So drainage is actually an incredibly helpful, very, very easy practice. So in, in this, you would need to essentially get rid of the dirty water and infuse yourself with new sparkling, glimmering water, fresh water, if that makes sense. Um, the way you would, you would do that is you would close your eyes, you would sit down really quickly. You would imagine that your pores are expanding, like literally every pore of your body is uh, getting larger. And you would want to imagine that you're letting go of all of the murky waters and all of the murky waters are starting to leave your body through the pores in your skin. And so just sit here, usually it takes like just one minute to drain your entire body of the etheric fluids that are suboptimal. Then once the dirty water is out of your system, then you need to take, like imagine that you have a shower head inside of your body and you wanna wash away any of the, all of the internal organs and all of your, like the inner vessel, uh, because sometimes like the, the walls of the vessel are also a little bit suboptimal. So you just want to make sure everything is clean. And when that is done, then you close down, then you imagine that your pores are becoming normal again and you're not see-through anymore. And then you would want to imagine um, a waterfall of white light coming through your crown center and then filling you up like a vessel with a whole new set of waters. Sounds really simple. It would change your emotional state within three minutes. Like very, very potent practice. Love this practice try it, let me know how you feel. Second practice. This is the practice that I would call the like source consciousness recalibration for the lack of a better word. Usually when I am extremely down or very tired um, or just feel like I don't see the forest from the trees, I go up and when I meet my guides and, you know, sometimes I go up as high as source consciousness. And when I ask for assistance, this is the practice that they give me. So essentially there is a golden tub filled with golden liquid somewhere in the realm of source consciousness. It is actually really quite cute because at one point we as souls were incubated. Once source consciousness split itself into multiple particles, we were incubated inside of these like little golden capsules awaiting our time. Um, so I guess this mimics this this like cosmic um, like womb scenario, only it's not the dark womb we're talking about here. It's like this golden capsule womb, if you will. And so essentially what you would do is you would want to imagine yourself sub fully submerging inside of a golden bathtub filled with golden liquid. Head, you know, all of it, just submerge everything. And here's the kicker. Uh, for this practice, you need about 10 minutes because as you submerge back, if you like when you weigh back into this tub of golden liquid, what you would need to do is you would need to break your body into all of your cells. Imagine each of your cells just like got split from your body and they all become became individual organisms. And so it's like your body fell apart on cellular level and you're just floating as a like this trillions of cells inside of this golden bathtub. So it feels like coming apart, but in the best way. And you would notice that like once you descend into that level, your brain gets foggy and it's really hard to even process thoughts because it's like your brain is non-existent. I know it's kind of like, bear with me, you guys, this works. Like I wouldn't be telling you this if it didn't. And then 
just imagine that the golden water is washing away every cell, like the surface is uh, the surface of every cell. And usually you just want to stay idle for like up to 10 minutes. You can even set up a timer for yourself, but you would notice that right around the 10 minute mark, you would naturally feel like, okay, I'm cleansed. I'm recalibrated. I'm ready to go back together. And when you're ready to go back together, imagine that you are like this magnet that is magnetizing all of the cells, individual cells back to yourself and just allow this process to happen naturally. But what you want to check for is that you have all of the main parts of your body intact. Like it's my right foot here, my left foot here, my hands, my head, has it all been assembled back? And then once it's, you know, you truly do feel the confirmation that you've all come back, you can step out of the golden tub and you would notice the immediate before and after. Like it would be pretty dramatic to a point where even if you were, if you didn't get enough sleep, if you were really tired, you would be pumped, like you'd be ready to go. And I love this because working with source, you get like really potent practices like this one. All right. And the third energy hack, the third energy practice to help you instantly feel better is what I would call a splitting. So here's how this works. You close your eyes, you focus on your body. I would want you to split yourself into two parts, the white part and the black part, two parts. And then your white part should be in the front. Your black part should be in the back. Should be fairly simple for this exercise. Black and why doesn't mean good or bad, doesn't mean male or female. It just means optimal and suboptimal. So you would want to split your body into the optimal parts and the suboptimal parts. Again, we're talking about getting out of a negative emotional state. That is how I am assuming that you have the suboptimal emotional parts in the first place, because maybe you're in a great mood. You don't have any suboptimal parts, although that's debatable. So you don't need this practice, but for everybody else, you would imagine your white part is in the front, the black part is um, in the back. You would imagine that you're splitting down that middle or almost like as the white part, essentially you would switch your consciousness and you would merge your consciousness with just the white part of you, the optimal part of you. And then you would walk out of body, if that makes sense. As the white part, you would split yourself from the rest of the body. It feels like taking a step forward. And then what would remain back is this dark part, the black part, which is the sad part or whatever other negative emotion that part is feeling. And so you would split yourself. By the way, don't worry. You're not splitting your energy in half. Like no weirdness is going on. You're just literally uh, getting rid of unwanted clutter. And so you would turn around and you would look back at your black part and you would take it and collapse this black part into like a little black sphere of energy. And then um, you could essentially just uh, take that suboptimal energy and minimize it. I like minimizing, minimizing or erasing. Like um, that's what you can do with negative energies. Erasing is like, you can imagine that this is like um, black suboptimal globule of uh, light and you would take a massive eraser and just like erase it as if it was just hand painted or drawn on a piece of paper. You could also minimize it, co collapse it by minimizing. So making it so, so, so small that eventually becomes like one molecule large and irrelevant. And so you just collapse it like that. When I collapse things, I usually do like a clap. I'm not going to clap, but I guess I could. <laughs> you would clap to collapse something. Um, and that is how you would, what would remain of you is just this white part. Um, and then you may yeah, feel like you want to take a step back because remember you were taking a step forward to walk outside of your body. Now you walk inside of your body and now the entirety of your body is white light. And energetically and emotionally, this before and after is going to be like game changing for you guys. Let please let me know in the comments what practice is your favorite of the three that I just told you. Like which one sounds the most exciting for you to try? If you do end up trying any of them, please let me know how this works. If you felt the immediate before and after results, and I do hope you feel fantastic all the freaking time. So you don't even need these practices. But what are the odds we live in 3D, right? That's why I'm giving you those practices. Sending you a big virtual hug. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.